Here's Ping with this week's six yard line. Well, it's the second week of the six yard line. You ready? We got our game of the week to talk about brought to you by City College. That's right from our six yard line app. Crazy night. Lots of rain out there. That darn hurricane. Hermine, right after this. Woo! I'm Mike Kohler with Central Florida Official Association, and the six-yard line is coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Six Don't go. Six-yard six 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 line. Six six Crank it up, line. guys. A little bit more energy. Okay, there you go. They're the officials. they got to be a little conservative. Welcome to the six-yard line. All right, I'm new six sports director David Pingalore with you. Week two of the high school season. It's always flies. By. This always just flies by. The playoffs will be here before you know it. My pick for a title. Dr. Phillips, you heard it here week two, but you know my predictions go. We head to Dr. Phillips for tonight's new six game of the week. We got the Panthers hosting Lake Mary. First quarter, first possession. Thanks to head coach Scott Perry from Lake Mary. Live with me at six. DJ Charles for Dr. Phillips. Easy touchdown run right there. Seven zip. Second quarter, Aaron Edwards. Edwards keeps it. Eh, eh. And then they got a fumble here as he pitches it away. And Darian Hibbert. Right place, right time would lead to a touchdown. Not going to show you. 21 zip. Second quarter, Brandon Brown. Oh, man, a floater. Pick six, Darian Hibbert. All right, so he got it on the one yard line. Larry, if he goes all the way to the other end zone on the one yard line, how many yards is that? Uh, 99. Larry, 99. The fireworks over at Universal. Final score in this one tonight 41 7. Dr. Phillips and winner against Lake Mary. Um, very excited how we came out. Uh, we had a tough week with only one day of practice. The weather was all, always a factor. The field was a factor. But our guys came out. We always talk about playing unconditional, and that's what they did today against a tough uh, Lake Mary team. Overall, we did. We came out. We did what we were supposed to do. We played well as a team. We, you know, we played a little sloppy, a, lo a lot of penalties, but overall, we did really well. I love this matchup. West Orange. The Warriors taking on Winter Park. Wildcats from Winter Park run away with this one here. Less than 10 seconds to go in the first half. The Wildcats quick pitch to Brian Gomez. Turns the corner. See you later. Look at Gomez go. Larry, that would be 70 yards. Give it to me. 70 yards. There you go, Larry. A little energy there. Winter Park up big in this one. 40 to 7 at the break. Fourth quarter. More Wildcats. Quarterback Cameron Legree connects with John Hodges right there for the score. Look at that. Battling some inclement weather tonight. Winter Park shocks West Orange. 50-14, big road win for the Wildcats. In College Park we go. Edgewater had a tough one. Oh, this was a tough one tonight. The Eagles take on perennial powerhouse of Popka. Oh, wait till I tell you the final score. Blue Darter strike first and very often. Fourth play of the game. Popka's Jordan Thompson runs it in for a score. Blue Darter's up six zip. All right. I'm, that's six. Remember the score here. Ed Wider on offense. Quarterback Robert Harvey loses the control of the ball. Picked up by a pop as Michael Austin into the end zone. 13 zip of Popkin. Nothing going right here for the Eagles. Next possession, bad snap. Quarterback Harvey. Ball picked up by a pop as David Britzis scores 20 zip of Popka. Okay, remember I said 20. The Blue Darter's not done. Quarterback Dimitri Birch to Deshaun Massey for the score. That makes it 28 zip. Larry, give everyone the final score. What's the final score? 78 nothing, Larry. Wow. To Kissimmee, the Osceola Cowboys being tested by Oviedo tonight. Home opener for Osceola Cowboys. Open to drive quarterback Braxton Jones. He's going to call his own number. Why not? And there he goes. Jones off to the races. Seven zip Osceola. Just like that, Braxton Jones has an arm as well. He's going to show it during the Cowboys' next drive. He's going to hit Phil Whitner for the touchdown. Nice play right there. Oviedo has an answer. Morgan Mitchell, he's going to air it out. Why not? He's going to hit Marco Weimer in stride. Watch this. In stride for a touchdown. But Osceola's tough, tough again. Cowboys beat Oviedo 55-15. Man, some blowouts tonight so far. I know there's some big fans out there. Said hello to Barbara and Ronnie watching from Orlando tonight. Coming up next in the six-yard line, we're going to hit Wakaiba, Koei Colonial, and more. Keep it right here on News 6. The six. Yard line! Tonight. Hi, we're the Koei Cheerleaders. Welcome back to the six yard line. Woo! All right, ladies, thank you very much. Back in the six yard line, the Jodes Fighting Tigers visiting Colonial High School first quarter. Colonial's DeAndre Cunningham. He's going to get the handoff. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. Forces the fumble. Tyrese Brow, Thomas uh, Loving recovers for Jones. Special teams good here for Jones coming up with a big play when it mattered. Austin Perry. Watch this, one hop, whoop, here he goes, 38 yards. 
Is he going to score, Larry? Yes or no? Yes. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. He's going down to the two-yard line. Get it right, Larry. But that's going to set up a two-yard run by Rockerson. So who's right here going the right side? Man, Jones ball. Javon Wacker here. Nice catch from Quadri Jones. Watch this. Ooh, that's sweet right there. Scott Frost needs his receiver and quarterback to do that tomorrow against South Carolina State. Jones a winner, 40 zip. All right. Hurricane Hermine postponed several games throughout Florida. Obviously, many on the West Coast around here. Boone had to move up its game because of last night's storm. Man, hate these hurricanes. Braves hit the road for Wakaiba tonight. Instead of hosting those Mustangs, late first half, the Mustangs up 21-7. Trying to add to the lead before the half. Quarterback Trey McGee. Look at Trey go. Connects with the receiver Wesley Tuzi right there. That leads to a missed Field goal, Mustangs up 21-7 at the break. Second half, the Braves coming out strong. Quarterback Jackson Agnostis. Oh, connects with his receiver, Sheldon Fox, to make it 27-13, Wakaiba. The final, this one, Wakaiba 28-21. The Braves hit the road for Wakaiba uh, instead of those Mustangs, man. That was, they, you know, they had to change it around a little bit because they got uh, all messed up with the weather. I've got a player to keep an eye on. Lake notice quarterback, Michael McFarland. Big kid, can throw, and he can run. And the Lions taking on a Coey. Tight game tonight. McFarlane, quick pass to Anthony Quealy, looking for an extra yardage, but whoop! Here we go! Okoye's listening, Barber. Oh no! Pops him, pops the ball out, recovered by Okoye. However, McFarlane and the late known offense begin to click late in the first half. Lion Edge, Okoye, 25 22. The six yard line finale. Oak Ridge at Timber Creek got a highlight. Timber Creek on offense already leading two zip. A direct snap coming your way to the fullback, Seth Clark, in for the score. Final score in this one. There you go, Timber Creek, 44 zip. Don't forget, Gators home tomorrow night. Big night for Steve Spurrier. They're going to blow out UMass. Scott Frost in his opener at UCF will crush South Carolina State. Have a great night. Thanks for watching the six-yard line.